up in the sky, there's this super big star called Betelgeuse, or Balg for short. It's like a giant compared to our sun. Imagine if you could swap it with our sun, it would stretch all the way to where Jupiter orbits. Crazy, right? But here's the thing, it's not doing so well. Betelgeuse is like a ticking time bomb, ready to explode any moment. Scientists are getting nervous because they've spotted some strange stuff happening with it, thanks to fancy telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope. Famous scientist Brian Cox is raising the alarm bells, saying we might be in for a cosmic disaster. Are we going to witness a supernova explosion that'll light up the sky like never before? It's a big question, and we're diving in to find out. In the vastness of the universe, stars are born, live, and die in amazing ways. Recently, one star has caught the attention and worry of both astronomers and regular people. This is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star that stands out in the constellation Orion. It is very big and very old. Its unique reddish color and changing brightness have long been interesting. But recent events have made people even more interested in this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse, we are on the verge of a potentially extremely important event in its history. But what might these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we seeing the start of a cosmic show on an unimaginably huge scale? Betelgeuse is a stellar giant, about 764 times bigger than our Sun. It is so huge that it's hard for humans to understand. Imagine a star that is so big that if it were to replace our Sun, its surface would reach beyond Mars's orbit and wrap around Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Not only does this huge size show how amazing Betelgeuse is physically, but it also shows what stage of its life cycle it is in. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. It is expanding and cooling during this phase, which comes after turning hydrogen into helium in its core. What about Betelgeuse's age, though? This star is thought to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old, which is pretty new in human years but very old in terms of stellar lives. It has been changing dramatically over millions of years, going from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. It is now in its final stage as a red supergiant. Stars like Betelgeuse change over the course of their lives, which is caused by the constant pressures of nuclear fusion and gravity. Another thing that makes this stage of Betelgeuse stand out is its unique reddish color. Its red color comes from the fact that its surface is cooler than the surfaces of other stars like our Sun. The surface of the Sun is about 5,500 Kelvin hot, while the surface of Betelgeuse is about 3,500 Kelvin cold. Because it is cooler, Betelgeuse can give off light at wavelengths that make it look red. But this color isn't just a look. It tells us something about the star's physical state and the processes going on inside its huge gaseous volume. The fact that Betelgeuse's color has changed over time adds to its mystery. Writings from the Roman and Chinese eras say that Betelgeuse was yellow about 2,000 years ago. In the 9th century, Arabic experts were the first to say that it was red. This change in color over the course of human history is not just a small fact in the history of science. It also shows how the star evolved. Another interesting thing about Betelgeuse is that its brightness changes over time. It's a semi-regular variable star, which means that its brightness goes up and down on a regular basis. This dance of brightness has fascinated scientists and skywatchers for hundreds of years. Usually, Betelgeuse goes through a 400-day cycle and a longer cycle that lasts for five years. As early as 1836, Sir John Herschel wrote about these cycles, and Aboriginal folk histories may go back even further. But what really makes Betelgeuse mysterious is not just how bright it changes, but also how uneven it is. Unlike many stars that dim and brighten in a predictable way, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from this pattern. This suggests that complicated and less well-understood processes are happening inside. It's huge. From recently, astronomers and stargazers all over the world were shocked to see Betelgeuse's appearance change dramatically and unexpectedly. This is now known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, the red supergiant Betelgeuse, which is one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the constellation Orion, 
started to dim in a mysterious way. The star was getting so dim that it started losing its light at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day on average. In February 2020, it was at its dimmest. Betelgeuse, which can usually be seen with the naked eye, even in places with a lot of light pollution, got much fainter, and even casual viewers could see the difference. The time paradox, on the other hand, makes it hard to keep an eye on what Betelgeuse is doing because light takes so long to get to us. When we look at a star like Betelgeuse, we don't see it as it is now, but as it had been in the past. For Betelgeuse, the light we see today left the star almost 700 years ago, because it is about 725 light years away. Because we are looking into the past of the star, this time lag makes it hard to predict and keep an eye on quick changes in its behavior. The Betelgeuse dimming event was a reminder of how hard it is to observe the sky in real time and how little we know about the big, strange worlds of space and time that they create. Andrea Dupree, deputy director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team closely watched the events of Betelgeuse's celestial drama as part of a three-year study to track changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. They used Hubble to look at the huge star, these observations gave a new look into how a variable star like Betelgeuse works. Variable stars regularly get bigger and smaller, which causes changes in how bright they are. Researchers were able to look into the layers above the star's surface, which were heated in part by the star's swirling convection cells. Thanks to Hubble's sensitivity to ultraviolet light, more study of the Hubble spectra, which were taken at different times in 2019 and 2020, helped figure out how fast things were moving in the upper atmosphere of Betelgeuse. The spectra were mostly made up of magnesium-2 lines, which show what the star's atmosphere is like. The studies showed that things were moving from the star's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour. This hot, dense stuff finally reached millions of miles away from Betelgeuse. It was the start of the dust cloud that made the star less bright. During the three months of the outburst, Dupree and her team thought that about twice as much material as usual from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere was lost. While all stars lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's loss was especially noticeable because it happened at a much faster rate than the sun's. Astronomers talked about whether this event could be a sign of a supernova explosion because of how big this mass release was and how dim it became afterward. Being only about 725 light years away from Earth, Betelgeuse adds to the mystery because any explosion like this would be visible from Earth and give people a rare chance to see a supernova up close. But the question still stands. What does this dimming mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign that a supernova is about to happen, or is it just a one-time event in the star's long and complicated life? Several ideas were put forward to explain this quick change. One popular theory said that there was a stage in the process of a supernova explosion. This idea caught on because most people think that Betelgeuse is almost done with its life. Another common idea is that dust, maybe from the star itself, is blocking our view. It is known that Betelgeuse and other red supergiants lose stuff. It was thought that this stuff could build up into a dust cloud thick enough to block our view of the star's light. A third idea looked at how changes in the star's photosphere, the visible layer on the outside, might have an effect on how bright it seems. This puzzle was solved by using a lot of different observational methods and in-depth analysis. Spectroscopic studies showed that Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped. This suggests that the star may be dimming because of a big dark spot on its surface. The fact that Betelgeuse's temperature dropped by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming supported this idea. This showed that there were big changes on the star's surface. In the end, the Hubble Space Telescope, which is humankind's watchdog in space, helped us figure out what was going on with this strange event. Hubble's views showed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was probably due to a large amount of hot matter being thrown into space. This stuff made a cloud of dust that covered up some of the star's surface, which meant that less light from Betelgeuse reached us. It was thought that the dust cloud was made of very hot plasma that erupted from a big convection cell on the star's surface. 
As it moved through its hot atmosphere to the cooler layers on the outside, it formed dust grains as it cooled, making a cloud that blocked light from about a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic studies, which began in January 2019, were very helpful in putting together the events that led to Betelgeuse getting darker in the months before the dimming. These studies showed signs of dense hot matter moving through the star's atmosphere. Several ground-based telescopes also saw the star getting less bright in December 2019, especially in its southern half. The stuff that was there at first was brighter than the star itself, but as it moved outward and cooled, it turned into a dark cloud. The idea was that this outflowing matter and the dark cloud it made were what made the star suddenly dim. This explosion is truly huge and has put Betelgeuse in the center of astronomy. The star threw out about 400 billion times the mass that is usually thrown out in a normal coronal mass ejection. This material being thrown out, which is thought to weigh several times as much as the moon, was a big deal for both Betelgeuse and our knowledge of how stars work. But what does such a huge explosion of matter mean for ideas about Betelgeuse and supernovas in general? It has huge effects on ideas about supernovae. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are thought to lose mass at a fairly steady rate before they explode at the end of their lives. The size of this ejection, on the other hand, calls this idea into question. It points to a more turbulent and possibly uncertain end of life for these stars. Could Betelgeuse be getting ready for its big finish, a supernova explosion in a few thousand years? New studies make guesses about when this kind of thing might happen and say it might happen sooner than thought, maybe in just a few tens of years. Another important piece of the Betelgeuse puzzle is the idea of bow shock. This huge star hurtles through space at about 67,000 miles per hour. Compared to the material between the stars around it, it makes a bow shock which is like the wave that a moving ship's bow makes. This effect happens when the star's outer layers interact with the gases and dust in the space between the stars. It's a beautiful example of how lively the star is and how it interacts with its surroundings. In summary, the prospect of a Betelgeuse supernova represents a captivating convergence of scientific inquiry, astronomical observation, and theoretical modeling. While uncertainties persist regarding the precise timeline and implications of such an event, ongoing research endeavors promise to deepen our understanding of stellar evolution and the broader cosmic landscape.